Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday afternoon Time in a Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will, and it's great having you with us here today. I'd like to open up our time together this afternoon by reading to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, where Paul writes, Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making his appeal through us. We plead on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we could be here this afternoon, praying, Lord, that you'd open up our eyes to truth you would have for us to learn. And Lord, I would pray that these words I speak here would be pleasing in your sight, we pray all of this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen and amen. Last week on Time in a Word, we noted the fact that the believer in Christ is a citizen of heaven. And as citizens of heaven, the believer is to possess different values different allegiances, different life principles than that of this fallen world. And to live a life which pleases the king of this heavenly kingdom, that king being Jesus Christ. This morning, we see that the believer is also called upon to be an ambassador of this kingdom, in this world in which we live. A fact heard in Paul's declaration of the passage I just read to you when he declared, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors. Ambassadors who are to represent Christ in all that we say and all that we do proclaiming his message of salvation and living out the message of salvation in our daily conduct. Yet, what does it really mean to represent Christ as his ambassador? Well, in order to represent Christ, we need to put Christ first in our daily lives to live in such a way that onlookers come to see how important Christ is to us as believers. And in the process, in the process, see a savior, to see a king who is worthy of praise and worship. In order to represent Christ, we also need to love others as Christ first loved us. Forgiving others as Christ forgave us and being patient with others as Christ has been so patient with us. Giving them a picture of who Christ is in our daily actions, all in an effort to lead others to Christ and to make our corner of the world a better place for having done so. In order to represent Christ, we also need to tell others about Jesus and the good news of the gospel. Being spokespersons for Christ as his ambassadors and all the while asking Jesus through his Holy Spirit to give us the words to speak. May we live today, my friends, as his ambassadors, wherever we find ourselves today. Well, that's about it from here today on Time and a Word. I pray that you have a great day. I pray that you have a great week, and I hope to see you in church this coming Sunday when we celebrate our church's 134th 
anniversary. Well, to next, until next time on Time in a Word, blessings. I'll catch you later.